welcome you to today's game, to this Van der Arme North fixture, uh, Tamworth versus AFC Telford United. And uh, a very big welcome to our sponsors today down here, the Bidoff Rotary Club. And uh, you might be thinking, Bidoff Rotary Club, what are they doing down here? I mean, that's up in Staffordshire. But last year, you might recall, they were here because they'd done a, a trolley dash, well, probably a walk, yeah, trek, trek, a trek, trek, from Bidoff all the way to Flandindo with Degsy, who, who's yeah. very much uh, associated with these guys. And they loved it so much being down here. They wanted to keep their contacts. So thanks ever so much. And uh, one of the guys, Tony, where are you, Tony? Oh. Uh, bit of a birthday. So at the end, we've got a bit of a surprise for you at the end of the interview. I'm not singing. <laughs> Mike's not going to sing, but we're delighted that Mike Fowler is here, our manager, and uh, he's going to be sort of answering a few questions for us. And uh, Mike, we're going to kick off with uh, the today's lineup, please. Yeah, uh, we're going to go four four two. We've got Jack Stevens in goal, uh, Kyron Stabana at right back. Rhys Sharp at left back, Joel and Luke Jones at centre backs, Connor Taylor on the right, uh, Daryl Knights on the left, Verms and Jack Thomas in the middle, and we're going with Brad Reed and Kwasi Asante up top. Fantastic. A few changes. What what sort of brought about the changes from Tuesday night? Um, I think it's just you you look at the opposition and then you you come up with a plan that you think can exploit their weaknesses, and that's what we've done today. I think we look bright when we've had two up top. Um, albeit for the last five minutes at Alfreton. Uh, we've almost played with four up top for the last half an hour of the game on um, on Tuesday. And we had a lot of chances from it. And I think that you know if we'd have taken those chances, that it'd be a different story. But I, 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 I think personally I've got about 23 players at the minute that would always all do well, given half a chance. And I, you know, it's difficult to make those decisions every week, but I've got to do it. Now after Tuesday night, have you been shaving some of the metal off the uh, the goals just to make them a bit, a bit narrow to get the ball squeezed in? <laughs> yeah, well, it was, it was either we lift the goals a couple of inches or the players play barefoot and don't use their boots, so we'll see. <laughs> so there's been some changes in the squads this week. Tell, tell us about the ins and outs that we, we've been sort of spotting in the press. Uh, James joined us uh, Thursday. James Gray is a player that I've known for a while. He's not had a good spell at York. Uh, but I know what his strengths are, and he's, uh, he's very similar to Danny Newton in the way he works. He doesn't give uh, centre-backs and defence any, any peace whatsoever. And um, he's still a young lad that's had a, a stop-start career, and I think he could do really well for us. Um, certainly adding to the firepower we've got up top already, you know. Yeah. Um, so we've had him in. Obviously, Jack Thomas came in uh, early part of the week and made his debut on Tuesday night without knowing anybody. He certainly brings a lot of energy to the, to the group, and... Uh, He's uh, played 52 league games in League Two, so a good calibre of player. And when he settles in and he uh, he gels with the team, I think he's going to be a real asset to us. Similar to Ben Fox, you know, in yep. terms of um, where he's playing and, and where he is in his career, and he needs he needs that, you know, four or five games where he can kickstart his season as well. Um, and yeah, so two of them coming in, and some some, some guys going out on loan as well. Uh, some have gone to Sutton uh, and uh, Redditch, I understand. Yeah, Jed's, Jed's gone to Redditch. Jed's a player I like. He's very talented, um, and uh, he's got uh, attributes that will will benefit us uh, going forward. But at the minute, I thought it was in the best interests of Jed to go and play some minutes. And while we're going to be fighting for points today, I don't think Jed Jed's more of a, a technical player. And I think that today might be a little bit more about desire and application. So um, and I'm certainly not questioning Jed's desire, but he certainly has the technical attributes that benefit us. Are you looking for any other members of the squad to go out on loan? Well, I said Tuesday that I wasn't, didn't I? And then yeah. all of a sudden another one came in. So <laughs> it, it, we're always looking to strengthen. And, and like today, I've got um, quite a few disappointed players that are not in the squad. Uh, and certainly um, they've gone onto the bench today. Uh, but we've had, this will be the third tough game in seven days. And yeah. I think that, you know, last, you look at the squads over the last three weeks with the new arrivals, I think that the squad's really strong at the minute. And I can rely on any of them to come in and do a job. So I just don't like people sat around doing nothing. Yeah. And that's 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 the thing. And um, let's get him out playing. You know, Dexter, he's he's had a he's a he's a real good talent, but he's not really played that much this season. So he may have gone a little bit backwards. So we need to get him back to where he is. And same with Jed and and Regan, who I think is a really good player. That'll do well for us. They need to be out playing games. Under Andy, we saw quite a number of the sort of the scholars under 21s on the bench for the first team have you got a different philosophy because of the, the situation with the league at the moment where you want a lot more experienced players around in the, in the first team squad well short term short term yes I think that you need people that you can rely on short term 
um, and the position we're in, that's, you know, under no illusions where we are in the league. And um, to take that risk would be very brave to come and play with uh, with a young player. But I'm certainly with my background, I I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't hide away from that. And certainly, the longer term and the bigger picture would be to get as many people, as many players in our squad locally um, that have an affinity with the club that have come through the academy and the, and the scholars and the and the 21. So long term, that's the plan. But short term, we've just got to win football matches and got to find that formula. So, how are you enjoying your first week, week and a half in the hot seat? Um, yeah, I've loved it. I've loved every minute of it. I mean, you know, you, you're number two um, uh, one week and uh, one minute, and then you, you, you're thrust into the number one position. Um, and I've loved it. I, you know, I've, I've I've embraced it. I think everything that we've done off the pitch so far has um, has improved us. Whether it be process behind the scenes, whether it's staff. Uh, planning, preparation for the games has been spot on, um, and I think the application of the players can't be questioned. I think they've been. I think there's been a difference. I think people have seen a difference. Tuesday night, I asked for more uh, chances. I, asked, I said we're going to create chances. We're going to put pressure on their goal, and we certainly did that. So maybe I should just ask for goals. I would have got that instead. <laughs> so, uh, so that's what I've asked for today. Is it's the same same amount of pressure on their goal. Um, I've asked them not just to uh, have a desire to keep the ball out of their net. I've asked them today actually. Can you keep them in their half? So if the ball's played towards our half, I want you to fight to keep that ball in their half and put pressure on them and get free kicks and throw-ins and, and loads of shots. Shoot on sight and score some goals. And I, I think if I ask this, this question to the Telford manager, I'd get the same response. But you know, both managers, this is a must-win game today. So what sort of game are you expecting? Well, I'm expecting a cagey game. I think that's, I think that's what it's going to be because I've, I've spoke to, I've done my homework on on Telford. Uh, they've got good players. They, they, you know, they shouldn't be where they are, but they are. Um, and, and likewise, we shouldn't, but we are. So it's about embracing that and trying to get the group to go full tilt and try and get on top early. And I think goals change games. Um, they cer certainly at this level, if you score first, it's, you know, the, some, of, some of the teams you play against don't have the resilience to come back from that. Yeah. So I'm trying to manage. We're going to have moments in the game where we're not on top, and we have to appreciate that because you don't get it all your own way every game. Um, but when we aren't on top, it's managing our our team's expectation and the fans' expectation and trying to just set us back into the plan, which is to play forward. Can we play into the front two? Can we get off the front two and then play good football in their half and create chances? You must be pleased that there's no midweek game coming up because it's a chance really to sort of focus on, on gelling the players because there are is it probably about seven players in today's starting lineup that probably just been at the club about a month. So I, I you, think there's nine. Nine, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, you know, there's, there's quite a few uh, few new faces. And, you know, as well as I keep saying, they, they're going to need time to gel. I'm seeing them training on Thursday. I thought Thursday was the first time where um, there was a vibrant atmosphere. Like James Gray came in and, he, and his words were, you'd never have guessed they were on a losing run because we're trying to pick the spirits up. The training's bright. The confidence is there. It's just that first time when they go and get those goals, yeah. and then I, I, I genuinely believe that we'll go on and score four or five because the quality's there, but just the belief at the minute's just missing, and we've got to go and get that today. If we get one, I think we'll score two, three, four, five goals maybe. So, yeah. well, Mike, we wish you all the best, but I wonder whether first, before you go, you'd do the honours and present uh, Tony with a birthday present from the club, which yeah. we've got a shirt for for you, Tony. So. Uh, if you be able to do that for us, thank you. I hope it's extra large. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a short size. <laughs> Child size. Nice. Thank you very much. We've got matching jumpers as well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Mike Fowler, our manager. Thank you.